Hello and welcome back to more Crusader Kings 2 with the Historical Immersion Project mod. So here we are, almost 40 years in and on our third ruler already, but he's a very good ruler so, you know, I don't mind too much. And he's young so he should last for a good while. Uh, we've just taken all this land down here recently and uh, revoked a couple of counties from one of our brothers to fill up our domain limit. It's really only these counties that are helping us though. These are all recently conquered and aren't going to do much for us for the near future. But that's okay. I guess we could try and revoke uh, more from our other brother. But I don't think we have any un particularly unruly vassals that we have to guard against just yet. We do actually have a faction, though. 68% of my strength. Which I don't like. It's our... It's exactly that troublesome brother. Wants to take over my kingdom. Obviously we can't ally that. Um, we can kill him, though. So... Hmm... possibly be a good idea. We aren't running another plot at the moment, so... Yeah, I mean, what's the worst that could happen if we get caught and are branded a Kingslayer and reviled by the entire realm? What's the worst that could possibly happen? This will get us more of our land back and we can give away some of this currently useless land down here. Wow, okay, that was quick. And we're using the massive pit of manure assassination method. Always a favorite. So, hopefully it'll work and we won't get caught. I succeeded with the plot. Uh, yeah. There is no trace of my complicity. That was possibly the best murder ever. Uh, righteous imprisonment on... Is this the guy that did it? I can arrest him for it? I'm not going to do that. Uh, Prince Strykar of Danmark has inherited Laland. Huh. So I didn't inherit all the land. I mean, I'm not saying I'm definitely going to kill him, but I'm just checking. I could kill him. Uh, let's give away one of these counties. One of these more useless counties. Uh, not in prison, any... Not currently a ruler. Um, my religion, my culture... Yes, an adult. Not a great house. Uh, do we... Yeah, we have a terrible counselor. Anyone who's actually decent? Sure. He's envious, proud, and gluttonous, but, you know, he's a dualist. Sure. Um... I don't know which one of these. Alright, we have a baron too. Maybe we could just make him a baron. Eh, no. Um, Reynoldsborough. Reynoldsburg. County of Reynoldsburg. Congratulations. Alright, make him our counselor. Great. Uh, so that faction has gone away, obviously since we murdered it with manure. And otherwise, uh, how are our battles doing? Um, pretty good. Only some counts and our brother that doesn't like us. Why does he not like us? 
Oh, declared war, usurp usurped his title. Revoked his title, of course. This is the one that we took all the land from. I remember. Well, that's fine. Barracks. Any possibility of you dying anytime soon? Possibly with some help? Uh, great. Great. No actual reason to imprison this guy, I think. We'll just let him be. And let's see. Let's go on a great hunt. And also commission a runestone. Let's blow all of our money for frivolous purposes. Um, yeah, all right. It shall stand in memory of King Nud. Slain ignominiously by a dirty peasant. Yes, I'm still bitter about it. Technology. I guess we could get tank infrastructure, sure. And construction, why not? Alright, our hunt is starting. In memory of Nud, the runestone the rune stone you commissioned has been finished and raised on the spot you chose for it to you examine the runes. This stone was raised by Sigurdur in memory of Nud, his father, and Sigurdur's son. His untimely death, that's quite confusing because there was, anyway. His untimely death came in an epic Holmgaga. Holmganga? Holmganga. That will long be remembered. Ever will stand this memorial. You leave the stone content in the knowledge that many centuries from now, when its paint has long since faded, scholars will be studying these rune carvings in an effort to glean the wisdom of their words. Great. We're extremely prestigious. Oh, wow, more technology. Thank you, Grandmother. Quite intriguing. Okay. Fine sports. Indeed it is. Grand hunt is over for now. Uh, let's go on another grand hunt. Of course, I have realized that uh, I was saving money to maybe create some duchies, but eh, it can wait. Uh, while chasing an agile deer, my horse stumbled and broke his leg. Luckily, I was thrown off, but now my horse is in pain. Um, well, I certainly don't want to be slothful, so I will end his suffering myself. And the hounds were more alert this morning than I've ever seen before. Something stupendous must be awaiting us. So we can gain Diligence, which we already have. Or we can gain Craven. 25% chance of the Hounds bring down the child of a peasant. We could get Ruthless for only a year. Yeah, I think this is the lowest risk option, except for that peasant child, but you know. We don't need uh, Diligence, obviously. Well, I guess we... Got the peasant child. Or did we? I don't know. We're ruthless anyway. A white heart has been seen. Um, yep. Our courtier doesn't like us, or he does like us. Sure, he can go. I'm out in the woods and I see a mighty stag while my party is hunting. Uh, okay. Let's spare its majesty. Great. That was quite an eventful hunt. I am proud of my hunting abilities. What is this? Arrange marriage. I just want my court here. Sure. No problem. See you later. Let's actually have a look at what else is going on 
around the world. So Norway actually owns this land as well, which is good to know for when we eventually go to war against them. Ireland almost completely united, apart from these Norse areas. Uh, yep, Wessex and Mercia still, still there. I am starting to think Guthrun might fancy me. Okay. Um, yeah, let's not do that. We're not lustful. Uh, West Francia and Aquitaine still going on there. My brother Stryker uh, clearly has potential, sure. Looks like the Muslims took some land from Asturias. I think they have more. And this is Navarra, I guess, in here. Matharingia still being enormous. The wells used by your court for water have dried up. Yep, more wells. So Bosnia exists, as we know, because we were in a war against them. Hungary hasn't expanded at all. Bulgaria, pretty much the same as at the start of the game, I think. Byzantium still roaming around down here. Uh, Khazaria still exists, surprisingly, and is still Jewish. Much diminished, though. They seem to have lost quite a bit of land to the people around them. Banu Safar down here. Persia, basically. Fair enough. Uh, Princess Mal Malmfrid is now of legal age. My sister. Okay. Maybe we can get a good alliance from her. Uh, maybe not. High Chief of the Coronians, Jarl of somewhere. Uh, let's maybe betroth her to this Hungarian High Chief. Why not? Sure. Sounds fine. Alright. I don't suppose we can invite any more claimants from up here? Nothing to the Kingdom of Norway. It's still a relatively new kingdom, so it's not surprising. And these are all women. Which. I'm not sure if it makes a difference. I know you can only press the claim against a monarchy, or not a monarchy, a regency, or um, a female heir, but I don't know whether the gender of the claimant matters. Arndorn wants me to stop being cynical. Okay, fair enough. Um, what's over here? No. Agile. Interesting. Don't suppose we could offer to educate him? Get him in our court that way? No. I didn't really think so. Yeah, our income is somewhat better now since we took it back took, took back more of those counties. These ones, of course, are still still useless. Till 951, 905, that one goes away. Alright, that's not so bad. Maybe I'll actually remember to save money to create some of these counties. I mean, dishies. We never sent our chancellor to do anything. Um, okay, he's mastering the art of swordsmanship. Do we have any vassals whose opinions we should improve? Maybe we should try and improve our brother's opinion. Well, he's actually in the capital right now, so not sure if we can do that really. We'll just send him to. One of these, um, one of these Slavic 
people down here. You. So, we can do another subjugation war, since um, it's once per lifetime, unless you have the relevant ambition and we haven't done it in this character's lifetime. So, I wonder. We can take these three counties, I think? might be worth doing. Someone died under suspicious circumstances. Smallpox. I don't like that. Oh, and I fulfill the ambition to have a son who can be named Nud, appropriately after his grandfather. Nice. And uh, now, a new ambition then. Uh, not much available. Try to get to 2,500 prestige, or 1,000 piety, or we could try to become a trained fighter. Why don't we do that? So that no disgusting peasants can slay us in single combat. If this even affects that. It should. Would make sense. No factions apart from this autonomy faction, which I think is just always here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've been at peace too long. So, who to go to war with? Or we could just go raiding. Maybe we should just go raiding and get the Viking trait. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Just take everyone. Except you. It's been a while since we went raiding. the wise. Okay. It's no snake in the eye, but it'll do. Today, Tuovi enthusiastically asked me to go on a horse ride with her, and not having any appointments, I accepted. Is this our wife? Yes. Uh, we both headed out for the woods with our escort, chatting and enjoying the fresh air, when suddenly she challenges me for a race and bolts off. Um, okay. Only a 20% chance of something going badly. As you race through the woods after your wife, your escort pleads for you to stop while hopelessly trying to catch up on their heavy horses. After a long and fast ride, the two of you decide to stop unsure and unconcerned with who won, as you can't stop laughing as you remember the desperate soldiers from the escort. What a lovely day. That is lovely. So we can't actually fit all of these people on our boats. Let's uh, disband a few of them. Are you sure? Disband. Disband. Okay. Well, I guess we have to get rid of this one then. Alright, that'll do. Uh, sure. Let's merge these two and get the rest of you on the boats. Uh, 
And where to go? Got some nice rich counties that we're not going to loot because we already own them. And also, before we go, let's not forget to actually mark these as leaders. That's always a night. So we've still got all these rich counties down here, which are probably the best for looting. Except they all have large armies that they're going to chase us with. Maybe Brittany. We probably don't have the military might to chase us off. They're not the richest. They go raid Ireland. Historically accurate. Not the richest again, but they probably can't stop us. Mm, might be the best. Alright, let's initially head for Brittany then. Sigurdur the Wise. Wisely raiding weak Brittany instead of powerful Frankia. Under my guidance, my young brother Sturkar is slowly mastering the art of diplomacy. Good. Good for him. Alright. Let's go over here. 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 And here. He's getting even better at diplomacy. Excellent. Okay. So we'll get on with the actual raiding next time, but I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, thanks for watching, and come back next time.